What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of All the Mod 7. Today, we are going to get rid of some of our chests. We are going to work on some tool upgrades. And that is going to start with working on getting some crimson steel. Last episode, we, we found some of this crimson iron, crimson iron ingots. So we have that smelted up, but we're going to make three of these. So it takes four ingots per, one magma cream, two blaze rods, and that will get us one ingot. I want three because we want to make ourselves a pick. And we're gonna use so we're gonna and we're gonna do this with Silent Hills. So we're gonna grab our Silent Hills uh, dude here, and we're gonna put our three ingots in. This is gonna give us our Crimson Steel pickaxe. The biggest thing with this item is that this has this is gonna this will let us have a mining level of four, which is what we need to get. Um, all the modium. So we're gonna we're gonna use our iron pickaxe and we're just gonna swap swap our head out like that. Look at that. 2400 durability, malleable, control, construction. We are good. We've got all kinds of things. We can change some things up as as we needed, but we're gonna go ahead and put away our this. I I really wish I could put that in there, but I can't. That's just that's just junk at this that's just junk at this point but we'll hang mm, i don't have a chest you don't need a chest it's junk we can make another one all right so let's store our book we don't need this book on us anymore because the only purpose of this was to get this pickaxe and this pickaxe is the the pickaxe that we are going to use specifically for Getting some all the modium or all the modium rather. So let's take a look at the quest book. So all the all the modium. First thing that we want to look at is we want to get this ore here. Found in mountainous biomes inside cave dwellings and walls with additional deposits and peaks above Y170. <clears throat> now, as I was exploring, I actually came across some. And I think I have a waypoint somewhere yeah, down here. We want to go to Alzerkin place. We want to go to the, we want to go to Azak, Azak, this one. We want to go here. And then we would like, we want to come over here. This is where I found some things. So it, it was right down here, I believe. Think this, yeah, right there. Whoop. Okay, so just to show what we're talking about here, all the modium has a mining level of netherite, but this lovely, lovely little pickaxe here can mine this. So now these do not come in in chunks of like multiples. I mean, we're lucky to get one or two blocks. So here we got two blocks that we're, we'll actually get with this. So it's really, really important to save this to try to fortune it. The other nice thing about this particular, um, let's turn this on. It looks like I see some more down here. Nice thing about this block is that it at nighttime, it glows. Yeah, that's, that's some more. Sweet. So, so you see one block. I mean, it, it's it's not much that we get. So I'm gonna fly around for a little bit. I'm gonna pick, go. Th I'm gonna go through this area here where I'm at. See if I can't find any more all the modium, and I will meet you guys back at the base. Okay, we are back at the base. We didn't find too much more. I found three more pieces of it in that little section. Found a little bit of. A uh, little bit of emerald, not that we really needed it, but no, a couple things. 
So let's take a look at the quest book for all the modium. So we got this and it gives us an all the modium dust. Nice. Uh, the first thing that we, so here we can get our ingots. No, it's, it's saying here, let's, let's get an ingot. We'll give you one nugget. I mean, this is some OP stuff. However, let's look at this. All the modium site is recommended to craft this with your first potion or with, with your, with your first, um, ingot rather, which, which is mundane potions with calcinated all the modium powder. All the modium powder is powder ran through a furnace will give, will give us this. Now we just got a powder. So if we take this and we run it back through our energized smelter, this should get us calcinated um, thing. Let's just grab this real quick. We're gonna need to. We're gonna. Yes, so we haven't. We have an ingot. Yay! All right. We need a blaze. Now we need some more of our blaze rods, though. Let's, we need one. Let's go ahead. Can we? Can we enrich this? We cannot. Okay, and I don't have a crusher. Oh well. Well, it's a little wasteful, but it's okay. Uh, we need some potions. This, see, this right here, guys, what I'm doing, this is why I need, uh, my refined storage system. This, this is why we are going to be getting this today, because this is awful. But I want this, because if you notice, oh, hello, if you notice, I do not have any form of, turn that off, weapon. On me no weapon no pickaxe no i i got i got nothing so let's, let's whoops so let's put our potions in our water bottles in here and we want to make a calcinated one right calcinated oh why did we why did we smelt that oh no Ew, ew, no. I, I think I think we goofed. Uh oh. Okay. Oh well no, okay, look, okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. So we we have our ingot. So now we need a pest a pet pestle, so quartz diamond. And we're gonna need some ender powder, quartz, diamond. Okay, I'm gonna grab these materials real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I think we have everything that we need to, to craft this thing up. So we just grabbed ourselves some diamonds, an ender pearl, some five bricks, a piece of stone, um, and things like that. So let's make things that we need so we can make this lovely potion. First off, first off, we need a pe we need a pestle, right? Next, we need to have ourselves a mortar, a mortar. Then we need to craft ourselves an ender, ender dust, which is just the pestle, the mortar, 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 and the ender pearl. So it's one of those. Then we should just be able to combine all of these items together and we get our all the modium powder. We take our all the mod, modium uh, powder, we throw it in a smelter, and that will give us our calcinated. Um, and you know what? You're doing your you're doing your thing, cooking stuff up. We'll throw you over here. I lie. Cook. So we're just gonna let him cook. This will give us thing. We are not going to use this the way you think we are going to use this. So we'll put those back in there. We'll let those cook up some more bricks. Okay. So what do we need? So mundane potion. How do we make a mundane potion? We can add blaze powder to water bottles. We can add a jellyfish. We can add a rabbit's foot. There's leeches in the game. Really? Um, 
Redstone, yeah, Redstone. I think let's say run. Looking at Redstone is cheap. So is sugar. We'll use sugar. Um, I think I'm pretty sure we got sugar, right? Yeah, one sugar. So we'll come over here. We will add one of you. One of you. We're gonna let him brew down, and once this is brewed, it'll get us our three mundane potions, and then we will add in our calcinated uh, all the modium powder to get us sight. So we're gonna we'll do this, then we'll do this. And here we are. We're just about done. Boom, boom, boom. All the modium sight. Now what? Boo. Now what this does is if we drink this potion, it'll let us see all the modium uh, ore through anything. Anywhere we are. If, if it's in that area, it will be there. Gives us coal sight. Nice. Grab a couple more things. We're not gonna use. We're not gonna use that though. We're gonna make the. We're gonna make the charm, which just takes. We just uses the three potions, and this is a thing that we can turn on and off, on and off, and we've got like 192 uses or so of this thing. So this is this is great. Let's grab a couple more of our blaze rods, and I know this is wasteful of what I'm about to do, but it's fine. We're gonna take those. We're going to throw our potions up here. It's fine. We know we, we know what we're making. Making you and you. We'll grab our blaze powder. And boom. Boom. Quest complete. Oop, that is not what I wanted to click. What is All right, and and we get another ingot for it. So that's great. I mean, we used an ingot, but that's okay. Uh, all the mo mo modium uh, combs. We're a ways away from this yet, so I mean, we 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 need we need we need lots of things before we can we can make this. But we are on the path to to this. All right, let's get started with making ourselves our, our refined storage. Uh, oh, actually, no, we're we're gonna finish making our our ingots. Um, so if you take your copper ore hammer, by the way, and you smash it with this, you get two. So it's so it's really, 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 really good, really smart to do this because now you've got you have we had six. Now we've got twelve. Uh, can I smelt this with this? I totally can. So we might have actually no, we might have enough to make a couple different things here. Let's while this is smelting, let's look at all the mud modium. What do we need for a sword? I want I want a sword. It is an in, it is indestructible. We need an all the modium rod, which is two ingots, and then we need two plates, which is two more ingots. So we need a total of six ingots worth. Perfect. Perfect. And we can make ourselves you. And then we can make ourselves what was the, what was the plate recipe? I was in the top corner. Here, grab you, and we can grab you, guys, guys, guys. Look what we got. We have an indestructible, all the modium sword with fifty nine base attack damage, and we can modify this. This is fantastic the record but you know what since we're smelting stuff up why stop there 
We have six more ingots. Can we make ourselves a pick? No, we cannot. We have enough ingots to make this, but we don't have enough ingots to make this. We need some more... We need some more things. We need some more things. Um, you know what? I'm going to go back to that area that we were just at, and I will be right back. We'll show you guys how this uh, charm works before we get into something else. Maybe refined storage or something. Be right back. Okay, so I went back to the area. To, did I did take a quick look around. I did use the site to see if I could find any more. There was no more in that entire area. So we're just going to go back and we're going to get started with the basics of refined storage. All right. Refined storage is a mod that lets us store all of our items digitally so we can get rid of all of these chests and we can put all of this stuff inside of a nice compact thing and really clean things up. So what is the very basics of, refi of refined storage? So if we look at, so we, if we look over here, the very, oh, that's applied energetics. We want refined storage. So the very basics, we need to make a controller. This is, this is brass roots. You have to have this. For a brass, so this consists of quartz enriched iron, silicon, an advanced processor, and a machine casing. Surrounded by quartz. So let's let's get started. So we have a controller. Do we have any of this? We've got almost nothing. We've got so quartz enriched iron, three quartz, one. Uh, I'm sorry, three iron, one quartz equals four quartz enriched iron. We're gonna need a lot of this, so I'm just gonna use all of it. Okay, this is a staple for the mod. We're gonna we need a lot of we're gonna need a lot of quartz enriched iron. Now, we are down to you. We need to have stone. I, I don't have any stone on me. Really. Let's grab stone, stone, five pieces, sure. Okay, so back to the controller. Uh, we're gonna need a casing. And honestly, we're gonna need a couple of these. So I'm gonna, you know what? I'm only gonna make one for now, so we save on resources. Now we, but now we need the an advanced processor. An advanced processor is a raw processor smelted. This is a diamond, redstone, and silicon with processor binding. We don't have any processor binding, but that's just string, slime ball, and again, this is another one of those items. Might as well grab yourself a stack of this stuff. We're going to be using this a lot. I should have grabbed some redstone when I was over here. So let's get our raw processor. And I'm going to make like three or four of these just because I know we're going to need them here in a minute to not just for the... Controller, because the controller doesn't actually get you anything. All the controller does is it says, hey, there's something in... I, I have access to be able to see stuff, but this is the very basics of a refined storage system. So we are going to make this. So we have a controller. Also, silicon, guys, best way to do this. You can take quartz and smash it for this, or you can uh, take certus quartz and smelt it. If you're not going to do applied energistics, I recommend this method just because in, in, while you're mining, you're going to find a lot of this. So I just took like a stack of this stuff and I just smelted it up. So we have a controller. Check it off the list. And this is going to give us some just some quartz enriched iron. Perfect. Now it's saying that, you no. Know, what do they re what do they recommend? Well, you, sh you should probably make a grid. A grid is how we interact with our um, storage system. But for this, my goodness, we need lots of things, right? We need glass. We need this thing for called a destruction core. We need a construction core. We need an improved two improved processors. These are all the same thing. You just these are all the same things that we've already been making. We're just going to grab two of those and we'll let those start smelting up. 
we are going to need a you great construction core, which is which is a basic processor. Oh, I don't have any iron on me. Ha ha. Let's grab some iron. Again, not, now you can you can you can see how this all snowballs, right? It's like, oh, I need this. Oh, but to do, but to need this, I need to make this. So we're gonna grab two of these because I believe the deconstruction core uses one as well. We're gonna smelt these up. Give me you guys. It's going slow. Where's my upgrades speed? Pink. Okay. So back back to the grid. Uh, we need so we need another machine casing. So we need one of those. We need a construction core, which I don't have glowstone on me. Oops. We need a destruction thing. We need a piece of glowstone. Uh, I know I have glowstone somewhere, probably in this chest. Let's make our construction. See, all these things. You know what? I still didn't grab any glass, did I? Grab this. No, we're just gonna we're gonna need glass. We might as well just grab a bunch. All right, now here we go. We have a grid. So if we take, if we take our controller, and we'll just plop it down here. We'll get rid of the candle. Plop, plop that there. It's sucking up power. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting things. We take, our, we take our grid. We put it there. We go. Oh yay! But there's no way of storing anything right now, right? So we need, we need, whoops, we need more items. Let's go ahead and get rid of processor binding. Let's get rid of these. We're not gonna, we don't need this stuff anymore. We know what we need. We want to make a crafting grid. Crafting grid is crafting table, a grid, and another advanced processor. Well, we already have an advanced processor sitting here. So let's no. We'll make another crafting table real fast, just so that we can keep crafting with the other thing for now. But we're gonna get rid of it. Uh, no, we're, we're we're not gonna need it. Now the the key also, or one of the key things with refined, uh, we need you. Oh, whoops. Okay, this pick is really fast. You pitch power back on you. So we're gonna take our grid, crafting table and an advanced one advanced processor and we get a crafting grid plop him back down now a crafting grid is the exact same thing as a um it is the exact same thing as a regular grid except it has a crafting table built in which which is great but we still can't make any we still have no way of storing any data right we, so we've made ourselves a grid, we've made ourselves a crafting grid, but we we haven't made any 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 actual data. Well, let's grab let's go ahead and grab these rewards. For this, we need storage parts. We need store we need storage disks, rather. So if we look at over here in JEI and we do at refined storage, we need these storage parts. So I would like to probably make either either a 4K or a 16K. Now, I don't know if I have the resources for this, um, but this is what we're going to tempt. So a 4K storage disk is basic processors, quartz enriched iron, redstone, and three 1K storage disks. 1K storage disk is just glass, Silicon, redstone, quartz. We have all of this these items on us though. So I do want to do I have enough glass? 
Let's see. So we need three. Oh, wow. I have enough for one. Oh, really? We can't shift click this anymore. Really? Give me one more piece of redstone, please. Okay. So now we have our 1K storage disks. To make a 4K, you need three, but we need basic processors. Remember when I said these weren't these things weren't going away anytime soon? This is this is why it's it's gonna it's gonna be good to get all of the these types of things set up on like AutoCraft or uh, storage or things like that because I mean we're gonna we're gonna use a lot and I actually want to make tw well okay I guess I'm making thirteen I wanted to make twelve <laughs> but it's okay we'll use it I'm gonna let this craft. Um, I'm going to gather some some of the other components to make I want to make four of these because it takes four 1k or it takes four It takes three 4k storage disks to make one 16k storage disk and then we're gonna need some improved processors, which is just the gold so we're gonna do I'm gonna be I'm gonna make those as well I'll make four of these off camera and then we will come back and we will put everything together. All right. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, I think we are ready. So as you see, we've I have nine 1K storage storage disks because we need to make four or again, we need to make three 4K storage disks. Then we take the, those three and we make one 16k storage disk sweet now if we type if we hit u on this it shows what we can be used if we made three of these we can make a 64k but we're just going to go ahead and do a 16 16k disk so just some more redstone more quartz glass put it in boom okay we have a disk but we, um, we have a problem we can't do anything with it why can't we do anything with it well we have nowhere to store it so we have to make ourselves a disk drive right just like a computer, you need need something to, to do this, which is just a, another machine casing. Again, you might as well make a bunch of these things. We're going to need them. Another advanced processor, a chest, and some more quartz. Boom. Disk drive. S advanced storage. All right. N now, we just place this, oh, place this guy down over here. It serves no purpose. Can't do anything. But if we take our 16k disk it is now saying that we are using zero of 16,000 piece of bits of things that we can of how we can craft stuff so now all this stuff in our inventory we can we can just drop it in right and this is going to make crafting so much easier now so i'm going to take and really this is the basics of refined storage and now you can anything that we anything that we crafted before we can craft in here. So let's just say let's say we wanted to make another 1k 1k storage part. If I had the glass, you click and it moves all the items in. It, it, it is so convenient. Actually, do I have more glass? Here we'll just do something real quick. And I do not have any more glass. We should probably make some more glass. We're, we're, we're gonna need it. So actually, let's take all this stuff out. So, crimson gear. We got some glass. We got some bricks. I mean, we've got all of these things. There, there. That that'll do it. That that's that's three. So again, let's do one K storage part. If we click the plus, it moves everything over. Automatically, it takes all the the items that are stored inside of inside of your storage unit as you see right now the disc the disc is storing 726 items we pull this out now we're storing 723 because we used because we used items put one in there 724 so unlike applied energistics which has you no know, different types 
this is just raw items. Anything you throw in it counts as, counts as a piece, and we go from there. So, guys, I think we made some great progress to, to today. We made ourselves an uber sword that is indestructible with 59 attack damage, and we got up the basics of a refined storage system. All right, guys, that's going to call it for the end for the end of this episode. Again, we got up our all the modium sword. We got up some refined storage. We're going to clean up the base a little bit. And next time we might do some, uh, we're going to do a little bit more advancing, a little bit more exploring, and continue on working with our bees and have fun. Everyone have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.